All right, lads. BSP are you? Big sip of beer review. And today's video, it's a deboxing video. Um, might be a long video because we got a lot of beer. <laughs> um, cut a long story short. Um, me and my mate Tom, Tom's been on the channel. Um, we had a little bet on the weekend and he was a winner. And a couple of, about an hour before the bet landed and we actually won the money, a text Tom said, if the bet comes in, we'll just do a massive beer order. So I'm not gonna tell you how much we put on a bet. I'm not gonna tell you how much beer, this beer cost, but it's quite a lot of beer. So I'm just gonna debox it now. I, um, I have opened it, cause just to cut, 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 cut a little bit of time down. Um, we are, I've ordered from House of Trembling Madness. Um, I ordered yesterday about midday. Um, which was what day we that was Wednesday midday and Thursday, which is today, it arrived at nine o'clock in the morning. Absolutely fantastic, super, super quick. My invoice, which tells me what I've ordered, don't you don't really want to know that yet. Um, so this is the bo first box. Um, it's got lovely a cardboard shredded box, keeping the cans nice and cold. So, uh, cold cold keep them nice and safe on the travel so let's get on with it the first can is by beak brewery and it's called strangers and it's their ipa coming in five percent and we got two of them basically we got two of everything because me and tom we're going to split the order so we got beak brewery strangers ipa five percent and second, second can, we have got a Burnt Mill Brewery. It's called Great Bitter Falls. It's a West Coast double IPA coming at 8% volume. Very, very much looking forward to this. Have you heard a lot of good things by, uh, about Burnt Mill Brewery? Um, I haven't had a beer from them yet. So looking forward to that one. Let me do this one up. This one's from Divine Element Brewery. And this one is 6% and it's an IPA, Mosaic IPA. Got two of them, one each for me and Tom. So I've had something from this brewery before, which is Brew York. And this is their American Pale Ale, coming in 3.9% called Carla Chameleon. Just two of them. Lovely artwork as ever on them on them cans. Brass Castle, yeah. This can is from Brass Castle, another new brewery for me. Um, we've got a strong ale coming in at seven percent. We've got two of them. Um, yep. Now for you, for those of you now who are watching this video, who are craft beer buyers, you've probably got an idea how much these beers are costing. So you could, at the end of the video, total out and roughly see how much I paid. Electric Bay Brewery is the next um, next can, and it's a Hell's Lager called Mix Tape. Four point six percent. So I will look forward to having one of them. Um, this one, the reason I bought this one, I'm gonna give a shout out to my mate Chris from Beer Crony Beer Reviews. Um, he has told me that this is probably one of the best stouts he has ever tasted. So it's from Arbor Brewery down in Bristol, and it's their coffee and chocolate stout. We are percentage 6.9%. Yeah, the Beer Crony absolutely raves about this stout. So I'm very much looking forward to that one. Um, I don't know if I'm going to review all of them. 100% not going to review all of them, I should say. I will be reviewing some, but I will be drinking some at my leisure. So these are some of the beers that might be coming to the channel. Next can is, again, Brass Castle Brewery. And it's a West Coast style session IPA. Coming at 3.5%. Nice little cut, nice artwork on the can as ever. Lovely, looking forward to that. Nearly enough done box one. Polly's, 
which a brewery which I've, I've heard fantastic things about. I think I've had a Polly's beer, but, but that was before I started Untapped, so I can't really remember what it was. This is their India Pale Ale called Odi or Odi. And the percentage, 6.9%. Polly's looking forward to that. Um, this one is North Brew. Definitely had a North Brew because they've stock a beer in Tesco's, I believe. This is their California Pale Ale coming in at 4.5%. Going back to Polly's again, India Pale Ale and Canny Valley, 6%. We got two of them. Five minutes so far. <laughs> right, Buxton Brewery. I tell you, I've had a Buxton Brewery Stout and I've had, I think it is the Kingslayer IPA. And I was very, very impressed by them. So this is. India Pale Ale, 5.4%, ba 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 bang, and that is box one done. On to box two, which is this one. The first can we're going to pull out is from Magic Rock Brewery, I believe, because I <laughs> do recognise the artwork yeah magic rock brewery there is their coffee porter chocolate and vanilla vanilla coffee porter called common grounds and we are 5.4 percent in volume on that one this one is a, a don zoku don zoku butcher that name brewery company and it's their old school ipa Coming in at 6%. Got two of them. Oh, this is the biggest and probably most deboxing video I'll ever do. <laughs> I've chucked these two little cans in. Two reasons. One, Tom is a massive Tiny Rebel fan. And two, I was looking at the budget which I had to spend on the beer. And I was just edging up to it. So I was just chucking these small cans in just, to, just so I would get our, um, our budget. So we're looking at... Oh, this one is a, a, a lot of you will probably have this. Tiny Rebels Electric Boogaloo. It's a little New England IPA, 4.5%. I've had that before. Um, another Tiny Rebel, which again is a little New England IPA. Hello Goodbye. The reason I had this, I put this in the um, boxes because when me and Tom had a day down the brewery, I had a few pints of that. And that was a very nice pint. Hopefully it is as good it, as it was at the brewery in a can. Probably not, but it'd still be a good beer. 4.5% that one. Um, what have we got? Salt Brewery. It's a session pale ale called Calico. 4%. Knock that one back very easily. Um, what have we got though? Not much left. <laughs> Nope. Not that one. Mispacked these, now they have. Now we've got a Pilsner, Flens Burger. I'm not sure what brewery that is, but a Pilsner. I chucked this in because Tom's a, a lager, mainly a lager drinker. Does drink a lot of craft, but if he goes to the pub, he, he will order a lager. Uh, that one. Don Zoko Brewery again. This is their Rustic Lager, 5% called Big Foam. Again, one of each for me and the old Barrett, Tom. We've gone to the some bottles. We've mispacked them, now they have. Bottle caps. Right, we've got Black Sheep Brewery. I've had a stout from Black Sheep Brewery. That was a very, very good stout. And now this one is a 4.7% golden ale called Holy Grail. Got two of them. Run out of the room on bed now. <laughs> Where's that one? Right. 
This one, um, Tom bought me back a massive bought, um, haul of beer from Korea. I think it was South Korea. No, I can't remember the first one he bought. And he bought, this was in it. And we reviewed that on the channel, the reviews up. And that was a very, very good lager. So I bought one of them. So we're going to join that again. What percent is that? 5.2% that one is. Very good lager. Lager beer hells. And this one, I think it's the last can. We are at the bottom. Hey, this one, my good mate, Bullman, Greg Bullman. Bullman's beer reviews absolutely raves about Dea. So I had to chuck a Dea beer in on the order. And this is called Magazine Cover. It's a Hobby Session Ale, 4.2%. I'm pretty sure he's reviewed this. Well, I'm not pretty sure. I know he's reviewed it because I have watched the video. Um, yeah, that is a massive <laughs> beer haul from a winning bet. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed my video. Some of these will get reviewed. Not 100%, not all of them. And cheers, lads. More reviews to come on a future date. Big sip.